Hey guys, so anyway, um, I recently unboxed a Dollzone Iris. I don't have a lot of, um, posability pictures yet. I had gotten this doll and I've been so busy and I've had this footage for a while and I just needed to get this video up here because it doesn't make sense for, like, it feels like I've had her for like about a month now. But, oh my god, I am in love with doll zone bodies. Seriously. It's my third one. Well, technically my fourth doll from doll zone. And the posability is so gorgeous. So, I had gotten her from Mint on Card. Um, I ordered her, like, about a week after I ordered my Bertha, Samantha, and Heavy Rain. But she went in with the same order, I think it was like February 12th, maybe it was submitted to Doll Zone. And, like, she came in to Mint on Card at the same time, but I didn't pay her off because I kind of really wanted the Heavy Rain order first. So, like, I wasn't even expecting her. And the second I paid her off, like, Mint on Card got her out to me really fast. Like, I'm, I'm really loving working with Mint on Card. And she came with a box. Which was green this time. I, I was kind of wondering if she would or not, because I know my heavy rain didn't, but he was an event doll, and but he was small, like she's she's tiny. And you get the little certificate card, which I think is really awesome to have a print of the doll, and a little booklet, which I have never actually sat down and read one of those books yet. But their pillows are really nice. They're all lacy pink. And she also came they during the event, this was still the event that was going on for heavy rain. Um, I had gotten a silicone cap with her as well. It was free. And right now I'm doing this on my art desk, so sorry for the messy looking desk. Like I put it on a little blanket so it wasn't so bad. But this time I actually found scissors to open a doll. Yay. There's lots of tape wrapped around this critter. Like, I, I admit, like, after getting Bertha and Samantha and Heavy Rain, it's like, it's like, what am I going to do with Iris now? Like, I think I'm going to turn her into a banshee. Like, I haven't did any... YouTube videos on my doll channel for a while and I'm sorry like I kept keep meaning to like I'm really busy but I need to make her a wig I have a little red wig for her but I'm not really feeling it so I do have some wool laying around that I had recently combed and uh, made into I guess wefts so I can start doing some wig making I I'm thinking about doing wigs for my Bertha and Samantha as well with the same hair. So you guys get to learn with me because I, I've never done it before and I'm gonna record it and hopefully it's not terrible. But anyway, Iris. She is awesome. She is cool. Like, just look at that little- she just coils up so nicely. Like, I see her posed beautifully with a quarto dragon. Like, they'd be pretty good proportions. Like, Quarto would be, like, a little small in theory, but, like, on a small scale. Like, they're about the same-ish size, but... But her arms and everything is just so tiny! But she, like, even though she's so tiny, she feels so solid and nice. Like, I still don't feel like I'm gonna break her. Like, I'm just loving Doll Zone. Like, they're... The resin feels, like, awesome quality. Like, the posability is just so beautiful. So it's just the way her legs sit. Like, I love that extra hip joint she has in there. So she can get her legs up a lot higher. And I love my other dolls, the Bertha and Samantha body, which I don't remember if I did a posing video on. I think I only did the Leak World one for the art body. But I know that was planned. And I'll probably do a separate video to show her off too, but oh, I, I love those hip joints and 
his knee joints, like everything. Like she poses so beautifully and so like almost organically. Like her legs can cross and it's very, very pixie-ish. Like she poses great for what she is, being a little fairy critter. Like I, I kind of was. When I first got her, I couldn't decide which head to get, whether I wanted to go the iris route or what was the other one? Oh, I already forgot her name, but the, the, the other one, I, I think it started with an I too. But then they came out with two more heads and I was like, I would have liked one of those better, but oh well. But she, she is... She is pretty awesome. You know, the wings move pretty well, too. Like I, I don't know if I want to keep them on. I might just make my own wing wings to put on her. But she's just so tiny. Like it, seriously, it's awesome. And I like how their head caps work. Like they fit in there really well, and they work. Like I don't. I'm not a huge fan of the ones that have the hookup for the S ring in the back of the head because I feel like I'm going to break it if I'm trying to remove it. But so just tiny little peanut joints. Like if I would ever make my own ball joint doll, it's like I am glad I have doll zone as like inspiration of this is how joints should work because I don't know they're, they're just awesome. It's just the way her arm moves like it even it just feels very smooth it seems like you can get a lot more natural poses out of her but I definitely see her as a banshee or something some kind of ghost I don't know like I'm thinking white hair maybe bright blue haunting eyes even though you can't really see her eyes that much and probably have her in a dress <laughs> kind of like they had the even the promo pictures I did not get her with face up, but I got her in white skin. Like I kind of wanted like a little bit of a project doll too. Um, I should be. I don't know when I'll be getting my mini kitty, Miss Kitty, and Angela order yet, but those are the only other dolls I have been waiting for. So I do have them on layaway, so it'll be a while till I have them paid off. But if they come in early, I'm, I'll probably do an extra payment on them but I am not expecting to see them for quite a while anyway but I am I can't wait to play with Miss Kitty and Minnie Kitty's bodies too like I'm just incredible like after having some of my other dolls it's just so nice to play with something just with so much mobility and it's like not frustrating it's like I don't even need to wire this or suede this it's just I can do whatever I want with her but I do have a I did already have a wig for because I thought I was going to go since all the promo pictures had her and I can't remember her, the other one's name. But they all had the, the freckles, little freckles going on. So I thought red hair would look nice, but I, I'm not completely sold on it. Like, after I'm getting these dolls, like, I'd buy the wigs beforehand so I had something to put on them, and, like, I'm not sold on the wigs by the time I get the doll. I'm the same way with Samantha and Bertha. Like, I thought it would be cute to have them in different colored. Ponytail wigs. Sorry for that beep. Facebook's blowing up. And I've been talking for too long to re-record this. But anyway. Iris, yeah! And hopefully I can start getting some more videos up and working on face-up of even this little girl. And I still have face-up to work on on my centaur from Leak World. Bye! So thanks for watching. See you next time.